everybody, it's Mrs. Fitz, and we're gonna do a Hawaiian dancer lesson today. And we're just gonna show you what we've done to decorate. We've decorated with, oh, there's my nephew Liam with the toucan. Hi, we all and we gotta keep going because we have a wonderful palm tree. And my niece's arm. And we're gonna go this way, and there is our flamingo. And of course, we've got our toucan behind me. And I've got my pineapples, and I got my flowery shirt on. Don't so forget I think we are, and we've got lays, and I'm even wearing a grass skirt, though you're not gonna see it. But when you do the girl one, you might do a girl grass skirt. So this is what we're doing. We have the boy Hawaiian dancer. Then we have the girl Hawaiian dancer. And then I'm gonna make sure we have our instructions posted for the girl and for the boy. And we're gonna work in portrait style. That means our picture is up and down. So we're gonna angle our camera down because I've got my camera person in training going and right about there is good. All right, so we're actually, if you're gonna work at the top of the paper and I need my instructions. Girl or boy? I don't care. Just give me one. I'll take the top one. And I got my boy instructions here. So I, you're going to be doing this. And I'm going to be doing it here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a nice U shape. Again, I'm using a marker. You guys want to use a pencil. Because then you can erase. Okay, so we have his head. Okay, and then we have to add his neck. No. Okay. Let's and then we're going to do a little curvy bump line to the right, a little curvy bump line to the left. Oh, now I have a Hagrid nose visiting me. <laughs> I have puppy dogs. Then I have another one to the right and another one to the left because we're going to giving uh, him some muscles. All right, so now I'm going to come underneath and underneath the, hit the shoulder, I'm going to put a little dot, one, and a little dot there. That's going to give us an idea where his chest is going to be. Now, we're going to angle this up with a little bit of a curve. And a vertical line. And we're going to give him a horizontal line, curve it to that vertical line so we have an elbow. You don't need to do anything else about that. I'm not. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to come up. Yeah, I was going to sit there. And we're going to do an arm here. And then we're going to curve it. And we're going to go like that. All right, now. From here, we make his chest. So we're gonna go down diagonally, a little bit out, move his arm in a little bit. And then we're gonna come out a little bit like that. Nice arm, belly. And then we're gonna close it off with a horizontal line. Okay, so now we're gonna go to his skirt because they do wear a skirt. We're gonna go in the middle and we're gonna make two vertical lines, nice and long. And then we're gonna close it off. And then we're gonna do another horizontal line. And then we're gonna make an L. So we're gonna come up and connect it. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Out with a horizontal line. Oh, oh, and then come back with a vertical boy line. looks like L like on his body. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to do his legs. So I'm going to do a little curve line here and a little curve line there. On the other side, I'm going to do a curve line in the opposite direction. We're giving him some big old thighs. And then we're going to come down a little bit more, another curve line. Two more curve lines. And then we're going to close it off with a horizontal line. Okay, so now we have our horizontal line. Okay, now we're gonna do two more, some more diagonal lines. A little diagonal line here, and a little one out there. A little one here, and a little one out here. This time, instead of a horizontal line, we're gonna close these off with wavy lines. I'm gonna do a wavy line, wavy line, 
Now, though these are not his flipper dolphin feet, we still have feet. They usually wear some decorations that's grass on their legs. Sometimes they have them on their wrists too. So I just did that, there you go. Okay, so we have her his little decoration. Then we're gonna finish it off. So I'm gonna come down on both sides, but one side I'm gonna angle it out, curve it out, because he's gotta have his the bottom of his foot. So there's one foot, down, curve it out. Bring another one, curve it, and we have his foot. Okay, now he's kind of missing a few things. On the chest, he needs to look like he's kind of muscly. Right now he looks a little chubby. So we're gonna do almost like a, the letter T. I'm gonna do a vertical line, space, vertical line. So it's like a broken line. A little curve line here and a little curve line there like it was um, a T. So now you got his muscles. Now we need to add his hands. And then you can add his fingers. Add his fingers. Now, usually they wear something on their hair or on their head. So I'm just going to do, you can do flowers because like they said, they make lays or you can just do leaves. But they do wear a headband. So I'm going to do my headband of flowers. There we go. So we got our headband of flowers. And then he, is, he has to have a top of the head. So we have to give him his hair. I'm gonna just do a wiggly, scra a scraggly line there. All right, now we need to give him some ears. So a little crescent shape, curve shape to the right, a little curve shape to the left. And then we're gonna add our, our nose. Now our nose is like the upside down seven. So I'm gonna do, there's his nose. I'm gonna do a curved line to the right curve line here, so some frowny curve lines, and then just a little dot for his eye. And then we're gonna add his mouth. Here we go. So we have our Hawaiian guy. Now remember, if you wanna do the guy, that's fine. If you wanna do the guy and the girl, I would add a pattern to his um, outfit. Ziva Rose, my assistant, can hand me my guy, please. Thank you. So what I did was I added decorations to his outfit, colored in the grass on his legs, added a palm tree, clouds, sun, and colored it in. Now this time I colored it in with color pencil. Remember you can use on, any on, art material you want to use. So if you want to do it in paint, you want to do it in marker, that's up to you. Remember, send me a picture. Now for the girl, Miss Eva Rose, can I have the instructions? Oh, you're tracing. Yeah, tracing, yeah. We, got, we all know tracing does not happen in my classroom. Okay, so we have the girl now. All right, so with our girl, Hawaiian dancer, same thing. Make a U shape for her head, okay? And then we're going to add our neck and our shoulders. Here's one shoulder. Here's another shoulder, okay. So now we wanna put a dot like we did before. Now the difference with our dot like it was before is that when we make our arms, we're gonna start with where that dot is going to be the underside of our arm. Now, please remember, I'm kind of making it a little wavy, that the second arm is gonna cross over. So I'm gonna come over here, come down, and add her hand. That's not the best hand, but that'll work for me. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna bring it down and across. Okay, bring it down, give the elbow, and across. So now we have our two arms, okay. Now, our girl from, has got, this is where we're gonna do her body. So we're gonna do a little curve line here, and it curves in and then it curves out. Connect that. 
Now, since it's a girl, we're gonna give her a little bikini top. So I'm going to go M to an M, and then you're gonna do a W. Again. See, so you got your two curved lines. Okay, so we have her body. Now, we're gonna add her grass skirt. Now her grass skirt is like long leafy shapes. So you're gonna go curve it to a point and then come back. Curve it to a point, come back. You're gonna do this for her whole skirt. Add as many, any leaves as you want. You can do some in between. She's got a full skirt. You could do this by cutting out paper and gluing it down with tissue paper if you wanted. So you wanna make a nice fluffy skirt, her Hawaiian skirt. You can then put a pattern on her, on her top too. I did zigzag, I'm gonna do zigzag lines and give her a, a, you know, a zigzag pattern bikini top. If you wanna add a little belly button, you can. Then we have to add some legs. So I'm gonna come from here in the middle, I'm gonna come down a little bit, curve. Curve in and curve out. Okay, so here's her thigh. Again, repeating. There we go, we got one leg. Well, she's, she's gonna have some wonky legs today because I'm doing it upside down. Again, curve it, give her her foot. And then again, we're gonna come this way and give her her foot. So she doesn't I have, have legs. We have our cute girl with her weird legs. All right, now we have to go back to her head now and we're gonna add her hair and her ears and her legs. So first of all, again, ears, curve to the right, curve to the left, add her flowers. Okay, if you wanted to add a lei that she's wearing or a seashell necklace, you could do that. She could have jewelry on, you know, that's up to you. You could have a different type of top on. But we want to add our details now. Okay. And then I'm just gonna give her the top of her head. And then we can add her wavy hair. All you girls have long hair at school. So I think you know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about some long wavy hair. So you can add, again, Details, baby lines inside. So it looks like she's got hair. And then we're gonna add our eyes again. So this time we're gonna do curve line, curve line for her eyebrows. Again, the seven for your nose. Do another frowny curve line with the dot. And then if it's a girl, you could have an open mouth, you could have the kissy lips, you could just have a straight line, that's up to you. I think I'm gonna do... There we go. And so we have our girl, Hula Girl. So here's our next thing, and we can see, again, I added a background, this time I did a sunset. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of your artwork. So until next time, and I will post another video, we're gonna have a great time. And right, I'm looking forward to my fifth graders sending in their sidewalk art, because you have until tomorrow night to get it done, because I will be doing prizes, and you wanna look forward to that. Okay, see you guys later. Mwah.